Coming up on this week, we look at the upcoming SGA election, nursing students plan a garden, and we look at the student protest at the Capitol. Welcome to This Week at LSU Eunice. I'm Michaela. Student government elections are coming up, and Trevante takes a look. The Student Government Association elections will be held this week to elect new officers. According to SGA President Tara Olivier, the only race this year will be for the president's position. Two candidates will be seeking the president's position. Trevor Talbert and Allison Briscoe will face off for the top spot. This is the first time in years that there has been a race for the presidency. Ruby Luna is running unopposed for vice president and Abigail Lenners will be unopposed for the secretary position. Thanks, Trevante. Voting is today and Thursday. Students from around the state marched on the Capitol to protest against budget cuts. LSU Eunice students attended the No Funds No Future rally. Students from all universities gathered together on the steps of the Capitol building to raise their voice and let legislators know that without adequately funding higher education, there will be no future for them in the state. Um, we had a good show up for um, students from LSUE that came out to represent our school and how we feel about the budget cuts and how they'll affect us. We had members from CAB, SGA, and just students in general that wanted to participate. We got to listen to other student government's presidents sit and give their voice for us and say how they felt about it and how it'll all affect us. And basically we left with the reminder of no funds, no future, and that's basically what we need to focus on and get our state to understand. The legislature is currently in session, and numerous bills have been introduced to help the state close the $1.6 million shortfall in the coming year's budget. Two new initiatives will provide expanding opportunities for LSU Eunice students. In the fall of 2015, LSU Eunice will be offering introductory engineering courses taught by LSU School of Engineering faculty and LSU ESON in agreement with LSU Alexandria to offer 2 plus 2 programs that will allow for seamless transfers between the two schools. The two plus two agreements will be in nursing, management, and criminal justice. Poetry will be on center stage Wednesday at the Ledoux Library in the third annual spring poetry event. Students and faculty will be presenting their original works. Now, let's take a look at some important upcoming dates. I'm F. King Alexander, president of LSU. LSU is vital to the state of Louisiana. In fact, LSU is the most vital higher education institution to the state. And LSU Eunice is vital to its region, it's vital to its communities, and it's vital to the 2,700 students that go there. We are committed to ensuring that LSU Eunice grows and expands as it goes forward in the future. Word has it that this budget cut is coming. We are working to mitigate that as much as possible, and we'll keep you posted on what happens as the budget moves forward, but we are as committed to LSU Eunice as we've ever been as a university, just as we're committed to the entire state of Louisiana. Authors Warren and Mary Perron were on campus last week talking about their new book, Akari, Then and Now. The pressure for the deportation, surprisingly, didn't come from London. That's what we think about the red coats when you read Evangeline. And you, you look at cursory histories, it talks about the red coats in London. It all came from Boston, Massachusetts. It was that competition, that fear of Catholicism, the fear that the population was doubling up north and not south, that Acadie was much closer to Europe than Boston. And so there was a Judge Belcher there who was one of the ringleaders with Lawrence, and they had, they had planned this scheme, and it's called Great and Noble Scheme, to rid North America of the Papist French forever. It was the first ethnic cleansing in North America. And the beauty of it is, and the beauty that we can hear 400 years later, sit here today and, and say that it failed, because there's still this vibrant Acadian culture all over the world and this book proves it. The book is a compilation of 65 articles about the Acadian people. Nursing students took part in the Lafayette Relay for Life. The students helped put together the Garden of Hope. 
The garden was used as a symbol of hope for cancer survivors and those currently battling the disease. That's it for this week at LSU Eunice. This is the final broadcast of the spring. We will be back again in the fall. Thank you.